everyone, it's me, Mega Simmer, and welcome back to another Current Household. I know I just did one at the end of August, maybe a couple weeks ago, but I've been playing. I started a new family, like I said in my last Current Household, I was stopping one, so I made a new one. Yay! I have their lifespan on normal, and I just realized I haven't done a Current Household, and they're all aging up, and I just, I have to do one, you know? And so if it does seem like it's too soon, my bad, and I will be also doing the 100 Baby Challenge, like, update another so after this household but yeah so I'll definitely I think I'm gonna have probably two current households this September so one at the beginning one at the end so stay tuned for that one probably but let's get started this is a house I built this entire house myself um all this money was earned by the sims himself so we definitely we started with nothing and we made a wonderful home and we have a family now, we have a business, I'll have to show you guys their business. So, and I also have the fall mod, if you can't tell already. So, yeah, let's get into this, and let's show you guys the house. The line of light. I, I don't, why is that in the, guys, this house is a mess. Same lamp, same, you're supposed to be right there. guys um yeah it's actually a really big house i'm so impressed but we should probably get started with the sims so first off we have i'm gonna have her stop doing that go ahead and come right here please jamie hun get off of the thing please and then change into your everyday one Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you, like, turn around, please? Thank you. So, everybody. Guys, this is Janie Waters. She's so beautiful. Yes. Okay. This is Janie Waters, guys. She has the Master Chef aspiration. And... That's her aspiration. I don't really work on this one that much. I sh probably should, but I don't. And she doesn't have a career. These are her skills. She's mastered cooking and handiness. So that's really good. And then here's all the people she knows. Whatever, you guys don't really care. Um, and this is, she's clumsy. Loves the outdoors. Frugal. Natural cook, a mentor, and essence of flavor. She's actually going to be an elder in three days. That's so sad. Oh my god, I didn't even know that. I have I made Janie here. I started off with her. So let me tell you guys the story. So I started off with Janie here. And Janie wanted to have her own business and sell ice cream and stuff like that. That's what she wanted to do. And she wanted to have a family of her own. She wanted to start a life. And just live it, you know? And she was a very, as a child, she was a very country kind of girl. Her parents actually both died at a younger age. She was probably like 11 or something. But she was a very country living girl. As you can tell by her outfit, she's just, she's very country, outdoor kind of person. She just loves the wilderness. That's just who she is. 
And so she came into Willow Creek, hoping to start a brand new life. Um, she left the old town where her parents died. She couldn't live there anymore. She left her sister behind with um, some other relatives. And she went and started her life. And so when she came here, she met Veronica. <laughs> Such a great face. Such a great face, hun. She had met... There we go. She had met Veronica Van Dam. So Veronica, her and Veronica met, they were just friends at first, and um, Janie actually went and dated this other nice girl. She's actually um, Ted at the moment, which is kind of sad. Let's see if she's in here. Her name was Olivia, as you guys can see. So they dated, but then she realized Veronica was the one for her. So... Janie and Veronica uh, met, and now they're married and everything, and they met, and Veronica loved her dreams of wanting to own her own ice cream shop, and she was going to help her achieve that and be part of that. And since Janie also loves the outdoors, she does love to build things, so we do have her work on the like that thing that builds stuff, you know? But Veronica believed in her and wanted to help her achieve that. And so Veronica moved in. They got married. They started their life in this little home that they built. And Veronica was very into computers. And so she went into that career. And she's the one who has a job. She goes and says she also wants to be a very wealthy home, which she does have a very nice home in my opinion. It's not worth $200,000, but you know, that's okay. That is okay. But she is a level six in her programming, whatever, development captain. These are her skills. She's obviously really high in programming, cooking, what all those. Um, and she's actually a very um, athletic girl. She always goes on jogs and they just, they were meant to be together. They wanted, they, they just believed in each other and that's what they did. So she's family orientated. That's why they have kids. She's a genius, entrepreneurial, active, a great storyteller and business savvy. So I don't really have much on her past. She was made by someone. So, um, yeah. So they met and, um, they decided that since their business was taking off and it was their... It was just everything was going right. It was time to adopt a child. So they adopted Sadie Waters. Hey. So this is Sadie Waters. Hopefully I can get her with her eyes open. Oh, there we go. This is Sadie Waters, guys. We adopted her as a ch baby. As you can see, she's a grown woman now. She's actually turning to a young adult today. Not yet. She isn't one yet, but she will be momentarily. But this is what she looks like. She's such a great person. I really love her. Veronica, really. So we had, they had her as a baby and they grew her up in a great environment. She ended up becoming a musical genius and she's an A student. Here are her skills. And um, her boyfriend, so she was very social child. She, um, her best friend, her best friend is Jade, and her brother is now, was also her best friend as a baby. Let me go over here and show you guys their selfies. This was her group as a child. Right there is um, Sadie, the one with the braids. And that's Jade right next to her. That was her best friend. And then here was her, that's her and um, her brother. And um, that's her and her sister, Sadie, I mean, and Lyric here. And that was her and her friend, Liliana. That's um, Arvin here. Right, or was that Arvin? No, that's Arvin. Where was that? Yeah, and then this was, crud, I forgot his name. But that was her little group of friends. And as you can see, Arvin 
became her boyfriend. And they love each other, they promise each other forever. So that's just, they fell in love at a young age. They were, when they were kids, they were best friends, and then they ended up falling in love. So now they're together. And she's still really good friends. Jade is her best friend. Oh, his name is Jace. And Jace is her good friend as well. Liliana is um, kind of out of the loop now, but... Yeah, Arvin is just everything to her. I think he's the best guy ever. They're the cutest thing. They just, they're meant to be, guys. And you guys will see screenshots of them at the end of this. And then, so in here are her traits. She's sweet, creatively, creatively gifted, an art lover, and a muser. So, yeah, so she's just, that's what she's going to do. She's going to be a, um, artistic prodigy, or, yeah, musical genius. So then, when she became a child, they decided they wanted to adopt another kid. So they adopted Lyric Waters, who, to me, to be honest, looks like her twin. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to get her to stand up. Can you stand up, please? She just turned into a teen. So, here she is. So, this reminds me, this is Lyric Waters. She definitely, I love her personality. I just, I think she's very amazing and beautiful. And she's just, oh gosh, she's big, guys. So, so they got her as a child, not as a baby. So, she wants to be a best-selling author. And, um, she's a B student. She doesn't really have any levels because she just aged up, guys. And she's actually kind of interested in this guy, Yuri. How do you say that, Yuri? I don't really know, guys. You guys can tell me. I don't know. So, she doesn't really know a lot of people. But she's childish. Essence of flavor. A natural cook and a muser. Wait. She doesn't have the food aspiration. Oh, that's weird. A muser. That's so weird. And a natural cook. So she's just but such a little um, book girl. Very cozy fall outfit. Glasses. She's got glasses and everything. That's just who she is. She's just starting her life and she's enjoying every moment of it. And so um, Jeannie and Veronica here are having their perfect life. And they decided, you know, we want a son. So as... Um, Sadie at the time was a teen and Lyric was still a child. We, the, their moms adopted a son. As you can see here, here, here he is. Oops. This is Trevon Waters. They all have black hair. I just, yeah. Um, so that, he's in a sleepwear, so just excuse that. Um, so, so then they had him, they, get, they got him as a child as well. So he wants to be a bodybuilder. He is a B student. He doesn't have any skills. He, he literally just aged up yesterday. Um, but I actually, oh, he is, he's active, high metabolism, metabolism, and sarcastic. And I think him and this nice girl right here, um, Cameron, are going to be something. I don't know, I just... Yeah, I just think they're going to be something great. So, yeah, so they, they achieved things. They build their house up. It just all became something great. And I'm going to go show you guys her, like, store. And I see you all there. Like, little store. I mean, it's not... We get a lot of money, though, because, as you can see, everything is um out of stock. But if I go like this, I can show you guys what we had. We had some microwaves, um, a few of these hutch thingies, a grill, some bar stuff, and some... I, the ice cream makers and we make like a good we sell everything we can make like 20 grand a day so it's it's, it's a lot then we have all our ice creams over here they're all out of stock this is really sad but this is our pathetic very little store but i mean i love it it's great it's amazing but i have to wrap this up so i'm actually gonna go hop over to the 100 baby challenge enjoy the screenshots of the family story all right i'll see you guys there <laughs>
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and knit, and I'm going to just quickly show you guys Lacey again. So here's our founder. She was in my current household before. Y'all remember her if you've seen the episode. If you haven't seen I definitely recommend you go watch it. So here's Lacey. I'll just go over it quickly. She's serial romantic. We're actually pretty close to that. We just have to get that. And then here are her skills. Um, here are all the people that she knows. Obviously, there's a lot of red bars in there. And, um... So she's romantic, fertile, alluring, and gluten, and she has 17 days until she becomes an elder. So here's our oldest daughter at the moment. I'm actually going to show you guys the family tree really quickly. Actually, we'll just go ahead and start. So right now, the oldest in the household is Julie Huntington. She's obviously uh, Jay Huntington's son, as you can see over here on our selfies. We're obviously right here in the child department. <laughs> so all of these before have all moved out. Um, so, yeah. So we have Julie Huntington here. She's a very pretty girl. Um, I'm going to have her... Can she look up for me? No, you guys can see her right here, though. She's a mean a collector and neat. She'll, she's, yeah, a freelance boost student. She's an A student, which means um, she's going to be aging up and moving out really soon. Um, so that is her. So yeah, that's Julie. And then we had our second oldest is Emmett here. We're going to wake him up. I don't know why he's sleeping in here. This isn't his room. I thought I heard a baby crying and I'm like, we don't have a baby. All right. Can you actually, um, not squint? Thank you. Here is Mr. What's his name? Emmett Vernon, yes, oh my gosh, he is a party animal, a bee student, um, yeah, and then he's cheerful, gregarious, and loves the outdoors, he literally just aged up, that's why I wasn't really sure who it was, because I, like, haven't played this file in a while, not in a while, probably in a couple days, which is a while for me, so beautiful out there, okay, and then, next we had Carmen Vernon, Here's a Carmen. She's such a cutie. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have to go over their fathers. I'm an idiot. Emmett Vernon is, um, a CR unknown. He might have been an unknown kid. Yeah, his father is actually unknown. He's probably a townie. So, but Carmen here is a whiz kid. She's a B student. And, um, she's a genius, of course. So that's me. Ma I almost called her my friend's name. She's not really this girl. She's not really my friend, but I know her. She kind of looks like this when she was just like a younger version of her. So her father is Marok Wolski. That is her dad. He's amazing. I really like him. I was actually we kind of have a relationship with him. He's our only boyfriend, right? Yes, because I thought we could maybe um marry him or something because once you get the player trait he won't get upset so and I kind of really like him so that's Carmen's dad next we have the twins so first off in the twins yeah I'm gonna have her come on downstairs first and then I'll show you guys off to her there we go so first, next we have the twins, which I'm super excited we had twins finally. I've been waiting for it, and I, I'm so glad we had a boy and a girl twin, because I only thought we could have two girls, two boys, whatever. But no, you don't have to. So like, and they don't even look that the same that much. But here's um, Skyla Vernon. Her father is um, Malcolm here. Malcolm Landgrab. I have to change the last name to Landgrab. I'll have to do that. But she's a class clown. She's a C student. She obviously just aged up, if you can't tell already. She's a slob. She's so cute, though. And then here is her twin brother, Brent. As you can see, he got his dad's hair. As um, Skyla got her mom's. <sighs> That's scary. This is Brent Fernand. He's a rambunctious scamp, a C student. And yeah, Malcolm is all, yeah, like I said, his dad, whatever. Oh. 
and he's good. So that's all the kids in the household as of right now. I actually saw Miss Hannah walking around. Let's see if I can. Oh, here she is. Hannah is, oh, she's coming over to see us, of course. Here's Hannah, guys. If you remember, she was in my household last time. So, yeah, Hannah's on her own now. Look at her, just advanced a grown person. She's actually really close with Emmett. Um, they're pretty close. If I remember, yeah, see, she, they're pretty close. So, let me just quickly look at their family tree. So, here it is. We've had a lot of kids and more to come obviously because it's still 17 days which means we can get some handful of babies out of that so obviously we have monica first some of their hairs are gone i could fix that we had monica seth i'll say their last names monica hoskins seth goth jonas reeves Zine Couric, raylan richards hannah milligan julie huntington emmett's unknown <laughs> carmen morora or whatever his last guy's name was skyla and Brent Landgrab. That is our family tree. It's crazy. And we're actually, Lacey is pregnant with Gustavo's baby. So that's what's happened on the update of the 100 baby challenge. So that's all that's happened, guys. So I'll do this, like I said, at the end of September again, only because that's just when I have to do it for the timing to be right with my game. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this current household. I hope you guys enjoy all the screenshots that'll be shown right about now. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!